So, you're at sea, you've got very little with you, some might say nothing. There's no land in sight, you're alone, you're thirsty, no one knows where you are, and night is closing in. Don't panic, you may be in mortal danger, but you have your wits about you. And the sea is pleasingly warm, so you're probably not going to die of cold. How do you stay alive for as long as possible? On average, every human being ends up in this situation at least once in her or his lifetime. So pay attention. If you drink the seawater, you'll die faster. Water moves from less salty places to more salty places, and your blood isn't very salty. So if there's seawater in your intestine, the water will move out of your blood and into your intestine, blessing you with diarrhea and dehydration. To make matters worse, your blood will absorb loads of the salt. And then to try to get rid of it, your body will create a load more urine, which requires water to make. More water than was in the seawater that you drank to begin with, and so you'll get even more dehydrated. But wait, remember, your large intestine is specialised at drawing water into your blood, even if the water is trying to move in the opposite direction, and it's not very permeable to salt. This means that if you can get the seawater into your bum hole and squirt it up into your large intestine, a salt water enema, then your large intestine can absorb the water without absorbing too much of the salt keeping you healthily hydrated. The Vikings used to do this. I don't know how they discovered it. Perseverance, I guess. Thanks for watching. Spread the knowledge and deliciously subscribe for more.